Yes, I'm Sai Kumar, the alchemist. AGS, you did it. You did it. I've been asking for it, and you gave it to us. All right, let's get started. You might be wondering by the title of this video, what am I talking about? What did Amazon do to New World that makes this update so crazy? You know, you might look at the Steam charts, you might be like, well, there isn't that big of a bump, if not none at all. Basically, the same amount of players are still playing, and Farfax, how can you say what AGS did was great? Because honestly, you guys don't know about it. What AGS has done has been something I've been asking for for a long time. They're giving players to be able to do the thing they want to do and to get insanely good gear. And this comes two folds, and let's start talking about it. First, we're going to go over the reward track. Yes, you can see here that I've spent a lot of time progressing my track. We've been doing a lot of great cleave missions, and we've been doing some creepy threes. We've been doing some killing people. We've been doing a lot of different things. I did not do the fort trading. I was up in Great Cleave while they were doing that. Um, but we've progressed through 28 tracks, which is a lot, I know. But I wanted to do it. I wanted to check out the rewards. And holy crap, are they insane. First, let's talk about the, you know, the reward system and where you need to get to first. So first, all you need to get to is bronze. Once you get to bronze, the game starts to really open up and starts to really give you the catch-up mechanic or the absolutely crazy good pieces of gear for PvP. What do you mean, Parfax? Well, let me show you. So once you hit 20 or once you hit five in the track, you get to bronze. Bronze, you start getting named items. The named items consist of weapons, armor, and jewelry. You get some of each. Now, the weapons themselves are not that great. This is probably one of the better ones. We are Fire Fury. Um, which is strength, vicious, keenly empowered, penetrating headshot. That might be the best PvP blunderbuss that you can have. I did get Bowman's Pride, which I upgraded to 625. I used it in the war last night. I got first in, uh, at least for the team that I was attacking, only got third overall. But it does pretty well. We tested this, you know, bow out a little bit. We might have a video coming out about it. See how well penetrating headshot actually works, uh, at least compared to the last bow. Uh, but so you have some weapons they are kind of decent. We have uh, some shields here. I have the round shield as well, but I don't have it on me. Uh, this is the name shield has refreshing ward, sure footing and sturdy. Uh, but realistically, what I'm actually talking about here is the jewelry, specifically the ring and the amulet and the armor. Let's talk about the armor. So each piece of armor has a light, medium, heavy. They are all cons. So they will fit in almost every build. Yes, if you're doing you know, something like my bow build, then maybe you can't put all your points into con. But let's look at it anyway. We have medium armor, shirking heels, refreshing evasion, resilient. So you have three different types of gear here. You'll have light, medium, and heavy. They All of them have resilient shirking heels. And then you have refreshing evasion on medium. You have refreshing ward on heavy. And then you have, where do we got a light piece down here? Oh, right here. And then you have refreshing on the light. Now these will show up as purple and they will have, I believe, resilient refreshing, resilient refreshing board and resilient refreshing evasion on them. But if you look at the names, you can typically tell which ones are named or not. But these are absolutely crazy good. You can slot these into almost any build that you have when you have deficiencies. So let's say I'm running this pair and I'm like, you know what? I really don't like my resilient freedom boots and I wanna swap them out for a pair of legs. Now, I actually don't have the light legs. I might swap them in here. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Resilient Freedom is still really good. But let's say I actually need a piece of heavy. Boom, I'd slot these in there and we have something that's really, really good. Now, is it Biss? No, I don't think Resilient, Refreshing of any slime and Shirking Heels is probably ever gonna be Biss, but it's really, really good and really, really close to Biss if you don't need something like a weapon perk. Uh, the refreshing is always good. You have resilient, which is always good. You can argue shirking fortifications, probably better than shirking heals, which I would agree. Maybe physical or elemental aversion. I can see that as well. But these are absolutely crazy good piece of gear that will slot into any build. Now, like I said, if you're running a full class cannon, this is going to be a little bit harder for you. But any bruiser and stuff like that are going to really take advantage of it. Now, for the really crazy pieces of gear, we're going to talk first about the amulet which gives you shirking empowerment on it. 
and this is the only amulet or the only perk that you can now have on an amulet that actually gives you damage. This thing is pretty crazy. Is this thing Biss? No. Uh, maybe some tanks might think it's Biss, but honestly, it's probably going to be Health Divine Shirk Entirement. It's probably going to be your absolutely Biss amulet. But this is so close. Stamina Recovery is good on every build. Health is obviously something you have to have. And Shirking Empowerment gives you actually damage on your amulet, which is absolutely crazy. Now, next, which could be arguably Biss for so many different builds, and that is the Champion's Ring. This I got in my sixth or seventh track, something like that. We got Hardy in Awareness, which people consider to be one of Biss. Now, you can argue specific builds, especially like Melee, uh, that can run Thwarting Strikes. Keen Awareness isn't that good at all. Um, you went with Slashing Damage. Sometimes you can consider Bow. I do have like a, right here's my Thrust Ring, um, 625, and that one's really, really good. But that third perk, Invigorated Punishment, when it's working, I heard it's not working currently right now, so I will have to test that out. We can bring a video about it here soon. But this ability is absolutely crazy. 3% bonus damage per buff on a player to max of eight buffs is so much more damage than any other perk you can have on your ring. For instance, we're looking here at my ring, my thrust damage, 4.9. That's two buffs, and this ring is better. Just from that Invigorated Punishment. This is crazy. I love this ring, AGS. Thank you. Just slot this in. Have this as your ring for every single build and absolutely forget about it. Upgrade it and then be done with it. This ring is absolutely crazy. But what if I told you this isn't even the reason why I made this video? Yes, we have a bunch of name here that can slot into random pieces, but it's still not the reason why I made this video about AGS finally doing what I wanted them to do. They finally made a catch up mechanic for everybody that is either starting, they are either you know coming into play, they're giving you a way to not have to throw millions and millions and millions of coins away for your crafting mats to actually get your BIS gear. And how is that? It's through the reward track as well. Once you get the silver, you start unlocking prestige gear. Everybody that I know that has been in silver and they've progressed through a few tracks, they've started getting legendary items and let me show you a couple of legendary items that i've gotten so far so first let's look at my boots here we have medium footwear uh and we have dex physical aversion resilient bleeding sweep these boots are crazy i've actually been using a lot of spear lately and i have the game has just been like farfax you need to run spear because it keeps giving me such crazy spear gear and these are super crazy would you consider them bis maybe not depending on you know, Shirking Fortifications, probably what you would consider Biss here. Maybe Refreshing Evasion, depending on how many pieces of defense you had. But Physical Aversion is crazy, especially right now with Bow being super powerful. It is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, these boots are crazy. But let's show you my very first piece of gear that I got from it. And we have Medium Gloves, Pawn, Leech of pa Leeching Path of Destiny, Resilient Elemental Aversion. These gloves are absolutely crazy. You can again argue these are BIS. Most people consider probably Shirking Fortification BIS. But if I were to sell these, I could reckon that I could get three to 500K for these. Now, if it was Shirking Fortification, you could probably get about six, seven, eight hundred thousand for these. But because they are Resilient Elemental Version, Path of Destiny, I could get three to 400. Now, these are forced by none pickup, which is the reason why I absolutely love them. And I am so excited. Not only, well, actually, you can't see Saturday Press on my track. Not only are you going to get pieces of gear similar to like this. This isn't from the track, but you're going to get pieces of gear like this that is like a weapon perk and like resilient. Actually, I have some. I don't have it on me, but they'll have like weapon perks and stuff like that where you can get your, your good dual stat stuff. Now, once you get the silver, you're getting actual close to this gear. This is the catch up mechanic that we've been waiting for. It is a little bit RNG in what you get, obviously. But finally, I can now progress through the reward track. I can start getting really crazy good pieces of gear and I can start playing even more builds. I can PVP to get my PVP gear. AGS, thank you. I am saying thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for a system to allow people to catch up on gear. Yes, you're not gonna get to 625, but I put out a couple videos on why 625 it's not a big deal at all. So 600 is the baseline to where you want to get to. 
623 if you want to get that extra stat point. But these gloves are absolutely crazy. These boots are absolutely crazy. And I've been hearing about other people getting the same quality, if not better quality, on their piece of gear. Just on the reward track. Thank you. Thank you so much. This patch is absolutely crazy. So if you can get to it, grind it out, get to 20, and start reaping the rewards of this crazy gear. Now, I've only got two pieces of gear, and we've been through eight tracks in silver. I didn't get my first one to uh, 24. I got my next one on 25. And then after that, we've gotten a named item or a legendary in each one of these reward tracks. We've been getting, we got the blunderbuss. We've had a couple other named items there. Uh, not that it's guaranteed, I don't think. But when you get to that checkpoint three, it has been absolutely crazy. So to sum up this video, Amazon Game Studio. Thank you so much for, I don't know if you were listening or just happened to want to give us a reason to do PVP. I don't know if it was anything that we had said saying that we need uh, gearing to be better. Your last update was kind of very meh towards it. You kind of him hot around about it and didn't say a whole lot about gearing, but this is what we wanted. I wanted the ability to get better gear. Now I thought it was going to come in the way of crafting, but I'm even more happy that it is in the way of doing something that I want. I can go do 3v3s. I can go do OPR. Well, yeah, sort of. Um, I can go kill people in the open world and I can get these gloves. Thank you so much, AGS. I, I don't know what to say other than thank you. So if you are, if you've been at all worried about getting gear catch up for PVP in New World and you're thinking about coming back, now was the time. Get in, start leveling your PVP track, start getting your expertise up. You do need to get it up to 600, but start getting it up, get your umbral shards so you can upgrade this gear and you will be able to PVP to get your PVP gear. Crazy good, crazy good gear. It is just the best PvP patch that nobody knows about. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Because if you can't tell my voice, I am super hyped for this patch. These gloves, I was pretty excited for it. But now that I'm starting to see the gear that's in here, it's absolutely crazy. And I absolutely love it. Please don't nerf it. Uh, you know, please keep giving us these pieces of gear. It is so worth it to start doing these PvP missions. It's going to help so many players out. This is going to be a great way. It is still random. So it might even, you know, you know, maybe I don't play Warhammer. So now I, well, I got these pair of gloves. Maybe I need to go play Warhammer, right? I, I do play Warhammer, but if for players, it's going to be like, well, I got this absolutely crazy piece of gear. Maybe I should pick it up and start playing it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, AGS. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe on this video because I'm absolutely stoked. I'm absolutely loving this patch. It's got its hiccups, but the reward track is all I was hoping for so much more thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace